Hello friends, welcome to Aditya Hermetmetics. In this video, I will solve some one-to-one -one and one-to function IIT J problems. In total, I will solve two questions here. Now see the first question. It is a multi-option question. That means one or more than option may be correct. And we have to choose which are the correct options out of these four options. And it is a top question. This question already came in IITJ advanced exams. Now see the second problem. But it is a single option question. Here only you have to choose one option which is correct. This question also came in IITJ exam. So now we will solve one by one question. Today we will solve only IITJ problems in this video. This is the first question. And it is my part 4 video. In part 1, part 2, part 3 already I have solved some questions about 1 to 1 and 1 to functions. So you watch these videos to get more knowledge about 1 to 1 and function and improve your problem solving skill. And this question already came in IITJ exams and it is a multi-option question first time I am solving one more than one option problem here one function is given f from minus pi by 2 pi by 2 open interval to r and which is fx is log sec x plus 10 x whole power 3 that means total logarithm power is also 3 then which option is correct out of 4, any option may be correct and which are the correct you have to choose. fx is an odd function, fx is an one to one function, fx is an one to function and fx is an even function. So first I will say what is one, one to one and one to already I have told and what is odd and even function just I will say the definitions. Odd function means fx when you are finding f of minus x if you are checking one function fx is odd, if f of minus x you are getting minus fx for all x belongs to the domain, if r is any domain, then that function, here I domain is different given, what I am saying about r, if domain r is given then that function is odd, understood? When f of minus x you are finding, if you are getting f of x, then that function is even. And the difference is here you are getting minus fx and here you are getting only plus fx. So first we will check option A and D. If you solve only one option, the other option you can get easily because we know that only zero function is both even and odd. Only the zero function, if fx is zero given, then it is both even and odd and other functions which are either even or odd. So if you can conclude whether it is odd or even, then the other option you can say easily. So first I will check here about odd function. And in both cases you need to find out f of minus x. So first we will find f of minus x. And since f of x is given log sec x plus 10 x power 3, you just put f of minus x instead of x. So sec minus x, 10 minus x. And we know that sec of minus x is sec x cos minus x and sec minus x is sec x this is a trigonometry simple formula so now you are getting sec x minus 10 x but 10 of minus x is minus 10 x whole q now i am doing one thing i am just multiplying sec x plus 10 x in both numerator and denominator to make that numerator sec square minus 10 square x identity because we know that its value is 1 so here when you are multiplying sec x plus 10 x, obviously it is sec square x minus 10 square x and denominator is 1, so denominator is sec x plus 10 x. So you are getting sec square x minus 10 square x upon sec x plus 10 x. Understood? Just multiply here sec x plus 10 x in both numerator and denominator, then you will get this step. Now it is 1 because it is a trigonometric identity, everybody know this. 
So now 1 by sec x plus 10x whole cube, that power is whole. Now use the logarithmic property. Since it is division, you have to subtract when you are separating log 1 minus log sec x plus 10x whole cube. And log 1 is 0 minus log sec x plus 10x whole cube. Now since it is minus given, minus power cube is again minus log sec x plus 10x whole q and the log sec x plus 10x whole q is given as f of x you can see here so now this is minus fx coming because minus but this is fx so that f is an odd function now understood how to verify odd even you have to find out f of minus x just by putting instead of x minus x if you are getting minus fx then it is odd when you are getting fx then it is fn but we got here minus fx that means f is an odd function since it is an odd function so obviously it is not an even function because i told only zero function is both even and odd since it is not a zero function it is something different given so that here we got option a is correct but option d is incorrect because it is odd function so that it is not an even function so now we have to check remaining two options B and C. So first we will check about one to one. And already I have told what are the short tricks about one to one function. You watch my previous upload videos. Here I have clearly explained what are the short tricks to check one one to one function. And here I will apply that short trick. If f dash x is less than 0 or f dash x is greater than 0 out of this any 2 happens for all x belongs to minus pi by 2 or pi by 2 then that function is 1 to 1. So I will find first f dash x simple derivative 3 long sec x plus 10 x whole square since power is 3 given. So use that xn formula and after that apply chain rule again derivative of long sec x plus 10 x this one same whatever you write. And long derivative, you know that 1 by sec x plus 10x. Again, apply the chain rule of sec x plus 10x. Sec x derivative, everybody know, sec into 10. And 10x derivative is sec square x. Understood? Simple derivative. Now, you do one thing. Take sec x common. Here. Sec x common means you are getting 10x plus sec x. Now, 10 plus sec, sec plus 10. Here, it will cancel each other. So, finally, we are getting 3 that sec x and long sec x plus 10x whole square understood and we know that sec x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 because in first quadrant all the functions are positive so sec x is positive and also sec of minus theta is again sec theta so whatever negative angles you will take again you will get sec theta that means in both cases you are getting greater than 0 for positive and also for negative cases and also since it is whole square given, obviously it is greater than 0, whatever you will take. So both are greater than 0, sec x and long sec x plus 10x whole square. So that f dash x is also greater than 0 for all x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. And I told you, when it is either greater than 0 or less than 0, then that function is 1 to 1. So we are getting greater than 0 for all x belongs to domain. So that f is an 1 to 1 function. And since it is an one to one function now we can say that option b is a correct option i told it is a multi option question that is one or more than one correct option so here we got option a b correct and d incorrect now remaining option c only we have to check so now i will check about on two and what is the trick for on two already i made videos about such tricks for on two functions you watch these videos to get more knowledge so here that trick we will apply range is equal to codomain. When range is codomain, then that function is on two. So we will find out the range of the function. And we know that a trigonometry identity sec x plus 10x is 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2. It is a well-known identity. Everybody know this. Sec x plus 10x is equal to 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2. And when x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, then what about this 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2? Actually, when x is minus pi by 2, if I will put here minus pi by 2, we will get pi by 4. And minus means pi by 4 minus pi by 4, 0. And 10, 0 is 0. 
ओके वेन आई विल पुट पाई बाई टू इट इज पाई बाई फोर सो पाई बाई फोर प्लस पाई बाई फोर इज पाई बाई टू एंड टेन पाई बाई टू नो दैट इट इज इनफाइनाइट सो लेफ्ट साइड इट इज जीरो एंड राइट साइड इट इज कमिंग इनफाइनाइट फॉर लोअर लिमिट इट इज जीरो फॉर अपर लिमिट वाट इज पाई बाई टू इट इज इनफाइनाइट ना बोथ साइड टेक लगार दम अंडरस्टूड वेन यू आर टेकिंग लगार दम obviously log 0 is minus infinite and log infinite is infinite again take power 3 since that function is given power 3 and since power is odd so minus infinite power odd is minus infinite and it is infinite power is infinite that means fx we are getting lies between minus infinite to infinite and what is minus infinite to infinite inter open interval it is nothing else it is r because r is equal to minus infinite to infinite open bracket so we are getting fx belongs to r that means range of fx is r whatever values of fx this is only range so range is r and in that question it is already given that the domain is minus pi by 2 pi by 2 pi by 2 open interval and range co domain is r so we got range is r and also co also co domain is r so range is equal to co domain that means f is on to and since f is on to function that means the conclusion is option c is also correct that means here option a b c all the three options are correct only incorrect option is d so the answer of this question is option a b c i hope everybody understood this because it is a iit je question you have to check all the options and in advanced for exams also the multi option questions are coming if you have not subscribed my channel now subscribe to watch subscribe more iit j problems and more short tricks and also like comment and share our channel now we will solve that second problem it is a single option question given and this question also came in iit j 2005 here fx is given When x is rational, it is x. When x is irrational, it is zero. Similarly, g x is given. When x is rational, it is zero, and when x is irrational, then it is x. Then what about f of f minus g? Here, question you have to check for f minus g. Similarly, four options given. That f of minus g x, I will take phi x. So phi x is now when x is rational, it is x. When x is rational in g x, it is zero. So x minus zero is x. And zero minus x for irrational case it is minus x. That q I am taking for rational number and q dash indicates it is set of irrational. Now we will apply that trick. F of x one is equal to f x two implies x one is equal to x two. Then we know that it is one to one. The same trick if we will use for x belongs to q phi x one is equal to phi x two. Then when it is belongs to q its value is x. Understood? So phi x one is equal to x one and phi x two is x two. That means for all x one x two belongs to Q, it is x one and x two. And this is the condition for one to one function. Similarly, for irrational case, take same but irrational case its value is minus x. So we are getting minus x one and right side it is minus x two. Cancel both side minus, we will get same x one and x two. That means in both cases. Phi x one is equal to phi x two implies x one is equal to x two, and this is the condition of one to one because we know that if f x one equal to f x two implies x one is equal to x two, then f is one to one. This is the condition. And since we are checking about function phi, so we are getting about phi. That means in both cases phi is one to one. Next, we will check about on to when x belongs to Q rationals, then phi x is x, okay? And x is an odd degree polynomial because its power is one. Similarly, when x belongs to Q dash irrational, phi x is minus x. When it is minus x, then obviously it is also an odd degree polynomial. That means in both cases it is coming an odd degree polynomial, and in my One to one short trick video already I have explained. When a function is odd degree polynomial, then it is always on to whatever its domain. Since both cases you are getting it is an odd degree polynomial, 
if you want to know the short tricks please watch my previous videos how to check one to one and how to check on two these videos are very very interesting and amazing short tricks i have explained there and this trick already i told when it is an odd degree polynomial then it is always on two so that f is on two coming but it is not f we are checking about phi so write phi only so that means phi is one to one and phi is on two okay and phi means nothing else we have taken f minus g and that question is about only f minus g so we are getting both it is one to one and on two so answer is option d you have to tick okay so here questions are coming completely different in what i have solved in my part 1 part 2 part 3 but this part 4 is completely different video here only i have solved eight the questions in that first question is a multi option and the second one is single option and both questions are different concepts and different tricks so to watch more such type of such tricks subscribe my channel and also when you are doing subscribe and likes comments shares it motivates me to give more such tricks and solve more questions using such trick videos thank you